Hello everybody and welcome to my new video on uh, how to get new, uh, different emulators for the MIT App Inventor. Because um, you know how you press the new emulator and it brings up this really really bad emulator that looks like that. Um, it's not very good. I can just close this called emulator. You don't really need that um, because you can do it, get something much much better. So this is a very standard app with the extension of uh, the, um, the the very famous uh, Pet the Cat app. It also has a dog. Um, uh, and yeah, so this is MIT App Inventor, if you didn't know. This is also generalization how to get uh, emulators, Android emulators, on your computer. It's for Mac and PC. Um, so basically what you want to do is open a new tab in your browser like so and uh, Google Android SDK and once you've Googled that it should be the top link called Android SDK Android Developers and developer.android.com slash SDK slash so you press on that and it says download the SDK ADT bundle for Mac do not press that that downloads a 200 megabyte or maybe bigger I'm not exactly sure because I didn't want to download it uh, and it's just huge and you don't need all of it for uh, what, what you want to do with the emulators what you do is you download the Android SDK tools for Mac you press I have read and agree with the terms uh, with the above terms and conditions and then you press download the emulator and it automatically detects what computer you're using. I've already downloaded it so I don't need it. Um, so then you uh, yeah you have it in your downloads you can drag it anywhere I will just drag it onto my uh, my desktop and then I'll just place it over here a bit more obvious you uh, unzip it because it should come as an Android SDK underscore R whatever version it is by the time you're watching this video it might be a bit later um, so then you open it and you will have the Android SDK Mac OS X and you'll have four files in it approximately um, what you want to click on is tools and double click Android to open it it will say yes and it'll open in your terminal this is my terminal I just edit it in a uh, uh, view I think and it'll just come up with all this stuff and download um, basically uh, it just let it load and there will be all these ticks on the side like so and you will notice that it says installed for the Android SDK tools that is the only one you should have installed if this is your first time doing it and that doesn't have a tick box and just leave everything that is ticked ticked and don't change it then what you want to do is press install 10 packages and it will install all of these packages notice if I press on that it changes number up it should be 10 approximately and um, so you download that this should be 4.3 or depending on what time you're reading this it might be a much higher number um, uh, yeah, so you have that. Um, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do this. Uh, so I placed mine in my uh, name and Android SDK. You will notice first of all that there are many, many more files in it now. Instead of four, you have a total of 12 items in your uh, your Android SDK Mac OS X or PC Windows whatever you're using um, tools temp system you will have it all Android SDK read uh, it's just about it a bit um, don't need to read that although it says read me uh, so what you want to do is go into tools again double click Android and it will open up it might take quite a while for you to install the uh, the these files when you hit install packages when you first download it it took me about 20 minutes to install could take you five could take you an hour it totally depends what you're doing so when you have it open um, and how strong your internet connection is so when you have it open you'll have this and believe it or not you don't really need this 
Uh, basically what you do is you press tools, manage AVDs and uh, AVD is stands short is short for Android Virtual Device Manager. Um, so you'll notice here I have an emulator. I can hit start and it will give me an emulator that's the uh, Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy um, phone. The emulators are much, much better. Um, and yeah, you'll notice the name is emulator 64 uh, dash, uh, wait, is it dash minus, well, whatever, minus uh, X like times 86. Um, so this might take a long time because I'm on a Mac, so I will just leave that. Um, and in the meantime, I will go through uh, this. You don't really need to uh, hit on device definitions unless you want to know what this stuff is. And yeah, it's just definitions of all the things like uh, the Galaxy Nexus is the one that I'm using here. Um, so how you make an Android um, uh, like uh, emulator is you press on new and you can select your device. I'll just choose the Galaxy Nexus and I'll show you the, uh, I'll just call this Galaxy underscore two. You can call it Galaxy like I have over there. And CPU, uh, choose Intel Atom, which is where the times 86 comes from. Uh, front camera, choose Webcam Zero. It will use the uh, camera on your PC if you have one connected. And RAM, you can either leave this or change it. On uh, on my emulator there, I have it to uh, 2000, uh, so that it runs smoothly. Internal storage, you can leave that. Size, uh, just change this to 200, or whatever you want to. And use, um, remember to tick use host GPU if you want to. Then you press OK. It'll kind of create the emulator for a bit. It might slow your computer down massively. It'll come up with a result uh, for it basically saying what you're using with all the uh, information, RAM size, and everything. So there you have it. It's exactly the same as my Galaxy up here, except for the RAM. If I hit edit, I changed, oh, I didn't change it to 2000. I changed it to 1524. Um, and I have a bigger internal storage. Um, I don't need this one at the moment. So uh, I can go to the emulator and you'll notice it is like an Android phone. You have to drag to unlock and you have like everything here. And you can um, like either clear the device on launch so that you have totally new data and everything or you can have it set up, like, it, it, this does work, everything works well, it's just because it's on startup. You can also download Dropbox and everything like I have done. Um, basically, how I recommend you do it is you connect your email account to the email and just send yourself emails with the links to the downloads. Um, so you can go to the Dropbox website, download it for Android and just drop it into your Dropbox and then send the link to it to your email, then open the email in the email on your phone, and then you hit it, you hit download, and it downloads it onto your uh, your device, your emulator, and yeah, dropbox.apk, as shown there. Um, then, yeah, your thing becomes fully functional. It's a, it's a really good phone. You can also use barcode scanner. It will use the front camera uh, that you have connected. Um, also, what you can do, if I go back to the App Inventor box editor, I will do connect to a device, and it, this, believe it or not, is the emulator. So now, if I press on that, we just wait as it is connecting. Um, it, it will connect to this emulator as this is a 5554 colon galaxy, and this is called the um, five uh, connect to emulator 554 or whatever I forgot what it was called so it, it'll basically do the same as the emulator uh, you won't be able to um, change screens or anything listening to your app inventory your app should display shortly um, so yeah the app is now loading 
should display shortly. So yeah, there's the cat. Pet me in that spot. Uh, should meow, I'm not sure if I have the sound set up. Then you also have a dog. You have a cat, you have a dog. Uh, the dog plays a wolf sound, for some reason I have no sound. Um, yeah, there is no sound, I don't know why. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this is the uh, how to get emulators on your Mac or PC. Uh, it works for both systems, you just need to uh, follow the exact same steps. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching.